up guys, it's Kilo X1 bringing you some gameplay. I'm going to be playing on Hangar 18, and this match I'm using Flak Jacket, Sleight of Hand, and Tactical Mask. Um, I'm going to cut the video short once I get my 11 kill streak so I can upload another gameplay. Um, it keeps the video more interesting than me flying around in my chopper gunner, so I usually add two gameplays into one video. For those of you who aren't familiar with, with the way I make my videos. I've actually been playing a lot of wager matches lately just so I can... Uh, obtain some money to buy some gold guns because it takes really long just playing team deathmatch and domination and, and things like that to earn enough cod points to uh to buy gold guns so i've been playing a lot of wager matches um i don't really like uploading wager matches so um i don't have too many um gameplays that's why i haven't uploaded a uh, video this week i also haven't uploaded a video this week because i i got my hop hog hd pvr to finally start working and i've just been um you know dabbing with the, the Hop Hog HD PVR, trying to see if um, I can figure out how to really work it, and I finally got it. I, it the reason <laughs> the reason I wasn't able to use it before is because on the back of the, the, the Xbox, the cable itself, you have to switch it over to HD, and I had it on standard definition, so I didn't like the way the Hop Hog HD PVR was recording my videos, so I stopped using it, and I had it there for like two or three months, and I just never used it. And then I went back and I'm, I was wondering why it wasn't recording in HD and I really started looking over it. I, I called my nephew over so he can help me out and we noticed that we didn't hit the button on the back of the the Xbox to switch it over to HD. Once we did that we were able to upload so the the, the video you're watching right now is recorded with the, the PVR and I, I'm still you know working with it trying to see if I can get any uh, work on the settings make it better quality and and things like that so I haven't uploaded um, this week because of that but I, I finally got it to work it's it, it looks a lot better than the way the videos were coming out before but um, I, I still want to make it a look a little better and in this match this is on zoo and I I'm still using flak jacket slide of hand tactical mass those are my main perks that's what I really rely on when I want to play well um, every now and then I'll switch up my perks to maybe warlord pro or something like that so I could have two tomahawks and etc but most likely, this is this is the class that I really run: flak jacket, sleight of hand, tactical mass, and it's tactical mass pro. And it, it what that does is it prevents you from being flashbanged and nova gassed and concussioned and stuff like that. So it's really helpful, especially on close quarters maps. I recently started playing Modern Warfare just so I can prepare for Modern Warfare 3. I've been switching in between Modern Warfare and Modern Warfare 2, going back and forth, so I can also um so I can get back to the feel of Modern. So I'm I'm prepared for Modern Warfare 3 because there's been a lot of talk that Modern Warfare 3 is going to play a lot like the original Modern Warfare, not like the Modern Warfare 2. Though the the guns and and, and the speed of the game and and all that is going to be like Modern Warfare 2, but the weapons are going to work more or less like Modern Warfare 3. So I've been and they're also bringing back the G36, which is was one of my favorite guns in Modern Warfare, the original. So um, I've actually been practicing with that gun. I'm going to upload some gameplay with that gun. Um, sometime this week, probably tomorrow morning. You're on this, when you're on this map, Zoo, you, you really want to focus in on this building because I've noticed that lately this has become like a really um, high impact room because uh, a lot of the players want to camp this room. So I generally try and stay in this area, not necessarily, not necessarily in the room, but I do stay around this area and when I play on this map because they do like to come here and they like to camp and, and especially that window in that room right next to me so uh, I usually stay around in this area and this is where you, you'll get the majority of your kills my advice to, to everyone watching this video if you have a copy of Modern Warfare or even Modern Warfare 2 I, I'd suggest start going back to it a little bit here and there just so you can be ready for Modern Warfare 3 because Modern Warfare 3 is right around the corner it's probably what two and a half weeks away so definitely start practicing and, and things like that just so you can be prepared for it so you don't get wrecked when the game comes out. But that's my time for now. I'll talk to you guys soon when I upload my next vid. Peace.